Hello, how are you both doing? Hi. Good, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, congratulations on uh, what, of course, very sadly is the final season. I wondered how it felt for you both to be saying goodbye to a show that's taken up quite a bit of your time over the past few years, I'm sure. What, what's it been like for you, Eleanor? Oh, wow. I don't know. I mean, you have to bear in mind this season that we're shooting and still shooting is an extended season. So it's going to be 24 episodes, you know, as opposed to the usual 16. So it already feels like we're still in it. Like we're still, it is the beginning of the end for sure, but it's, we're still in the middle of it. And um, it's like, I, I haven't personally come to terms with it being like the end yet. Like I haven't started saying my goodbyes. I haven't started doing that thing where, you know, I go into work and I'm like, this is the last time I'll put on her costume or, you know, I'm not doing any of that yet. I'm just focusing on the next thing and the next thing. Because I think it's just too overwhelming to, to comprehend all of that. And I, maybe I won't process it being the end of the show until like, you know, next year or something. And I'll be like, oh yeah, wow, we did that. Does that make sense? I feel like yeah, I'm just- totally. Carla, you look as though you don't want it to end. That you know, it's fresh on your face. It's, it's bittersweet. And I agree with everything Eleanor said. It's definitely bittersweet. And yeah, I don't think I'm ready yet. I think- like Eleanor said, we're just taking it, we're trying to stay in the present for now and then deal with the saying goodbyes later on. <laughs> Eleanor, there does seem to be a little bit of a tradition of, of British actors in The Walking Dead, Andrew Lincoln, David Morrissey, Lenny James. I wondered how it feels for you to sort of continue that tradition right into the last season. Oh, I love that question so much because I, I, I take it like it's such an honour, actually, because all of those actors you described, I just think are so brilliant. And they're people that I am, who I've looked up to, you know, and the choices that they've made in their careers and the performances that I've seen them do. I'm just constantly blown away, um, you know, by them. So to be part of that legacy is, is, is I'm tr truly, I'm, it's one of the greatest honours um, in my life. And I remember I actually, the first time I ran into Lenny, because he'd left the show long before I arrived, but we met each other at the first Walking Dead event, um, I think in LA, and um, and and I, I we just had no chill. I just ran up to him and I was just like, you're one of the reasons I love the show. You're one of the reasons I wanted to be a part of the show. And he was so sweet and generous and and uh, and welcoming. And I, I um, yeah, I just had no, I was like, I can't be cool about this. It's like, <laughs> they are absolutely people who I, I, I would, I look up to and kind of want to work with because all those people you've mentioned, I've never got to work with. So <laughs> that would be really cool if we could do something together one day. It, it'll come, it'll come. Yeah. Uh, Paula, Princess really stands out for a number of reasons. Uh, one of which is the purple hair, which I noticed you haven't got today. Um, I wondered where the idea of the purple hair came from, and indeed that pink jacket. Uh, it all comes from the comic books. So they tried to stay as loyal to the comic books as possible with this character, and they really made it happen. Because if you look at the comic books, how she looks in it, they really did a great job at staying really loyal to that and portraying that character the way she is in the comic books. And I gather her backstory is that she worked in a record store. So I wondered if your taste in music was the same as hers. I think, I think it would be similar. <laughs> I think her taste is a little wilder. <laughs> my, my taste, I don't know. Cause I, I like all types of music. So, so it's hard to, it's hard to pick. Uh, but I think hers is a little bit wilder. Now, I know you don't want to think about the sort of, you know, the last episode and the last day on set, but what, what do you think that last day on set's going to be like when it comes? Crying, oh. tears. I have no idea. I don't know, I like, I don't know about you, Paula, but I, I still feel like I take nothing for granted on this show. I, I don't even, like, I, I sort of know the broad strokes of how the show is going to wrap up, but... 
also things change all the time you know things things uh characters come and go the show's been very famous for that so i'm sort of not counting my chickens really i don't know when my last day is going to be and i just sort of feel like we've got to we've just got to live in the moment for the rest of the season it's otherwise it's um we're just playing the end of it and i don't think that's helpful right now we need to still that's right i agree well, look, it's been lovely to meet you. Really appreciate your time. And uh, thanks for such a great show. It's just a shame that it's sort of um, not going to be around for much longer. Yeah, all thanks. good for you. Thanks, yeah. nice you. Thanks a lot. Cheers now. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!